Actors are used to faking their way through steamy situations, but sometimes you don't have to fake it. With these co-stars, sparks were flying on camera and off the set. In the 1980s, NBC was known for family-friendly hits like The Cosby Show, Gimme a Break, and Silver Spoons, and thanks to breakout star Michael J. Fox, Family Ties was ranked high among the network's top shows. The Canadian-born actor played charming overachiever Alex P. Keaton, the oddball offspring of his ex-hippie parents, Stephen and Elise. Alex's conservative morals never aligned with his liberal New England family or the many women he dated in college. Among the string of actors to play Fox's on-screen love interests in the series, Tracy Pollan's several season stint on the show proved to be life-changing. As Ellen Reed, Pollan's character was initially turned off by Alex. However, in one iconic scene, the actors kissed while dancing to Billy Vera's bittersweet song at this moment. The song became a number one hit, and audiences wondered what would become of the obvious chemistry between Pollan and Fox. Oh, uh, we, uh, we danced. <laughs> And, and kissed. <laughs> At the time, Pollan was in a relationship with Kevin Bacon, while Fox was tied to Facts of Life star Nancy McKeon. At the time, his career was also going off the charts, thanks to the hit movies Back to the Future and Teen Wolf. The actors reconnected in the gritty drama Bright Lights Big City and married a year later in 1988. They had their first child in 1989, and Fox was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease a few years later. Pollan has been by Fox's side through his struggles with the disease, and the couple has welcomed three more children throughout their marriage. Nicole Ari Parker and Boris Kojo are strong contenders for the title of Hollywood's most dedicated couple. Married for over 15 years, the powerful twosome has been able to maintain a family, successful careers, and a strong partnership under the stressful glare of fame. They met on the set of Showtime's early 2000s series Soul Food, where for five seasons they played on-again, off-again couple Terry Joseph and Damon Carter. Though their characters weren't always certain they should be together, their off-screen romance was solid. According to Essence, when Kojo suggested they move in together, Parker knew he was the guy for her. They married in 2005 and quickly welcomed a son and daughter. In 2015, the couple briefly hosted a daytime talk show where they interviewed several celebs, including Zendaya and Regina Hall. Like so many Hollywood couples, rumors of marital troubles swirled in 2020 over comments Parker made about missing the single life. However, Parker was just sharing an honest moment with fans, and the couple seems to be no less solid for it. Both Kit Harington and Rose Leslie landed the biggest roles of their careers to date when they were cast on HBO's blockbuster fantasy epic Game of Thrones. Harrington played Jon Snow, the illegitimate child of the royal house Stark. Leslie played Egret, one of the free folk who lived beyond the wall Jon defends as a member of the Night's Watch. The two found each other, and it wasn't long before romance and a selection of steamy scenes arose among the near-constant war, darkness, ice, and fire the show is famous for. Jon and Egret meet when Jon and some rangers of the Night's Watch take her prisoner. Their love blooms over the course of the next season, but their relationship comes to a permanent end when Egret is killed in season four. Meanwhile, Harrington and Leslie began seeing each other off-screen. According to People, they confirmed the rumors they were dating with a red carpet arrival at an English award ceremony in 2016, about three years after their initial on-screen coupling aired. In 2017, Harrington proposed, and the former kissing co-workers were married the following year. They now have two children together. Over the original seven-season run of the WBCW small-town dramedy Gilmore Girls, Alexis Bledel's character Rory experiences three formative romances. The second of these relationships was with Jess Marino, the rebellious new kid in town played by Milo Ventimiglia. As it turned out, of the three actors who played her love interests throughout the series, Ventimiglia would be the only one that Bledel would publicly date. While Rory and Jess's time together was passionate, it was also spotty. However, this was not the case for the real relationship that bloomed between the young actors. According to Us Weekly, the coupling began in 2002, right around the time that Ventimiglia joined the cast of Gilmore Girls. However, the duo ultimately split in 2006, not long after Ventimiglia left the show. Years before the Deadpool movies made him a beloved action hero and comic star, Ryan Reynolds' big superhero turn was supposed to be Green Lantern. 
a big screen jaunt for the interstellar DC Comics character, Green Lantern didn't do particularly well in theaters when it came out in summer 2011. The film earned dismal critical reviews and ultimately kept Reynolds from ascending to the A-list for a few more years. The silver lining to this botched superhero movie's production was that Reynolds met his future wife, Blake Lively, on set. In the midst of a star-making turn on the popular teen soap Gossip Girl, Lively landed the role of Carol Ferris, the hero's love interest. Their scenes together, which included plenty of kissing, were surprisingly intimate for an effects-heavy comic book movie. For this reason, it's not too shocking that these two actors later connected off the set. According to Glamour, shortly after filming, Reynolds divorced Scarlett Johansson and Lively broke up with her Gossip Girl co-star, Penn Badgley. In late 2011, photographers spotted Reynolds and Lively together, and they married in September of the following year. They now share four children. Dreamhouse was a relatively minor movie that starred two major actors. The abysmally reviewed horror flick followed a couple who purchase a beautiful home only to find out it's a murder house. The film only had a middling performance at the box office, but it did feature Daniel Craig, best known for portraying James Bond, and Rachel Weisz of the Mummy franchise in its leading roles. Craig and Weisz shot their scenes as a married couple in 2010 and the real attraction was palpable in their work. As co-star Rachel Fox told Us Weekly, they play husband and wife, so any time that the camera was rolling, you felt that spark. According to Express, both actors denied media speculation that they were in a relationship. However, right around that time, Craig ended his relationship with Satsuki Mitchell, and TMZ reported that Weiss had broken things off with her fiancé, filmmaker Darren Aronofsky. In mid-2011, Craig and Weiss got married in New York. They had their first child together in 2018. When it comes to on-set romances, few are as high-profile or combative as Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's. The pair reportedly fell for each other while filming the action romance Mr. and Mrs. Smith in 2004. At the time, Pitt was famously married to Jennifer Aniston, but that didn't seem to stop the Brangelina juggernaut from picking up speed. By 2005, Aniston and Pitt were divorced. A year later, Jolie announced that she was pregnant with Pitt's child, and the actor was already en route to becoming the adopted father of Jolie's children, Maddox and Zahara. Their daughter Shiloh was born in 2006, they adopted their son Pax in 2007, and twins Knox and Vivian followed in 2008. You think this story's gonna have a happy ending? Happy endings are just stories that haven't finished yet. After seven years together, Pitt and Jolie decided to marry in 2014, but the happiness soon came to an end. Jolie filed for divorce in 2016, citing irreconcilable differences. Tabloid coverage suggested ugly allegations of verbal and physical abuse by Pitt against one of the children, though the accusations were ultimately cleared by the FBI. Their divorce was finalized in 2019, but acrimony continued to brew between Pitt and Jolie, who were locked in a bruising custody battle between 2018 and 2021. Dancing brought actors Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan together when they co-starred in 2006's Step Up. In addition to helping the pair to establish themselves as stars, the film also served as the introduction that led to their relationship and eventual marriage on July 11, 2009. Their daughter Everly was born in 2013 and helped to inspire Tatum to write two children's books, including the best-selling one and only Sparkella in 2021. Sadly, the couple announced their separation in a joint statement to People in 2018, and they divorced in November the following year. In an interview with Vanity Fair in 2023, Tatum said the experience was difficult but ultimately necessary, stating, Your life just turns on its axis. This whole plan that you had literally just turns to sand and goes through your fingers, and you're just like, oh, what now? However, Tatum also credits the experience with forcing him to take a closer look at his own well-being. He explained that the process of the separation motivated him to work on himself in ways he probably would not have otherwise. Chances are you haven't seen the movie that brought Ryan Gosling and Ava Mendez together. Though it's critically acclaimed and received a 78% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, the 2013 drama The Place Beyond the Pines wasn't a box office success netting less than $1 million in its opening weekend on a $15 million budget. Its place in the movie history books is largely cemented by the fact that Gosling began a long-standing relationship with Mendez while filming the movie. In fact, the pair even had two children together, daughters Esmeralda and Amada. As a couple, they have maintained a very low public profile. As Mendez wrote to a fan on Instagram, my man and my kids are private. Though they do not attend publicity or red carpet events together, they do support each other through social media. 
For example, in 2023, Mendez posted a pic of herself on Instagram wearing a shirt emblazoned with Gosling as Ken from Barbie. The romance between Jennifer Lawrence and Nicholas Holt lasted roughly the same amount of time as their tenures in the X-Men movies. Holt first played Hank McCoy, also known as Beast, opposite Lawrence's mystique in 2011's X-Men First Class. Before long, reports began appearing in the press suggesting the pair had become an item. They appeared to split briefly in 2013, but reunited in 2014, just in time to reprise their mutant roles in X-Men Days of Future Past. And though the rekindled romance flamed out for a second and final time in 2015, they remained amicable both off-screen and on. In the years since their separation, both Lawrence and Holt have moved on to have children with other partners. Tom Holland and Zendaya worked overtime to keep their relationship under wraps since filming began on Spider-Man Homecoming. Reports surfaced that the actors were spending time together prior to the film's release in 2017. And while sources declared that Holland and Zendaya were an item, the actors themselves insisted that their relationship was platonic. I'm not obsessed with him, just very observant. Media coverage slowly told a different story showing Holland and Zendaya attending events together and celebrating each other's birthdays in cute social media posts. And a photograph of the pair performing some PDA in 2021 killed the Just Friends storyline. Holland and Zendaya eventually owned up to their relationship in individual interviews in 2023. As Holland said on the Smartless podcast, I'm lucky that I have someone like Zendaya in my life. For her part, the actress praised her boyfriend's culinary skills in an interview with The Sun, claiming that he's a competent cook while she's a bit clumsier in the kitchen. The science fiction thriller series Manifest not only introduced actors Melissa Roxburgh and J.R. Ramirez to prime-time TV audiences, it also served as the launching pad for their on-and-off romance. The pair began dating while playing detectives and former fiancés, Michaela Stone and Jared Vasquez in the series, which aired for three seasons on NBC and a fourth and final season on Netflix. The pair managed to keep their relationship under wraps for much of the show's tenure on NBC. Though Page Six printed an item in 2020 that quoted a source from the set who alleged that Roxborough and Ramirez had been dating for approximately six months. However, shortly after Manifest debuted on Netflix in 2022, people showcased a slew of pics from their respective Instagram accounts that showed them getting very cozy on what appeared to be a vacation in Fiji. Their Manifest co-star, Josh Dallas, clearly approved of their display, given the number of fire emojis he posted on the photos. Though Adam Brody and Leighton Meester's relationship blossomed after co-starring in 2012's The Oranges, the TV vets actually knew each other for several years prior to filming. Both starred in series produced by Josh Schwartz, with Brody appearing on The O.C. and Meester co-starring as Blair Waldorf on Gossip Girl, and it was actually Schwartz who introduced them. Through their producer, the pair met at Cantor's, the famed Los Angeles deli. He found Meester attractive from the moment they met, but he was seeing someone else at the time. By 2013, Brody was single and after meeting again, the pair quickly became a couple. They were married the following year and appeared together in the 2014 film Life Partners. Their daughter was born in 2015, and they had a son in 2020. In addition to their individual acting careers, the couple teamed up on screen again for an episode of Meester's ABC series Single Parents and in the 2023 thriller River Wild. Telling someone that they smell like marijuana may not seem like a foundation for a lasting romance, but according to GQ, that was the first thing Megan Fox said to her future fiancé, Machine Gun Kelly, at a party in the late 2010s. However, it would be a few years before the twin flames, as they've taken to describing each other, would officially get together on the set of Midnight in the Switchgrass. After sparking a relationship while filming the 2021 thriller, the couple got engaged in early 2022. In a very on-brand display of affection, Glamour UK reports that the pair each drank a small amount of the other's blood to commemorate their newfound commitment. Their nuptials were ultimately put on hold until the following year to deal with relationship problems. However, Kelly and Fox appear to be back together as of late 2023, though wedding plans seem to remain on hold. Long before they played married Soviet spies on the Americans, Carrie Russell and Matthew Reese had something of a meet-cute. As Reese explained on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, the two attended the same kickball party, where Reese used the effects of liquid courage to get her contact information. Unfortunately, she failed to return the drunken message he left on her answering machine. Wow, she did not return the call. Nope. 
However, about a decade later, Reese and Russell became an award-winning duo on screen and off thanks to their roles on the FX drama. The Welsh-born Reese, who most recently starred in HBO's Perry Mason, and Diplomat lead Russell started dating in 2014, shortly after her separation from her husband Shane Deary. People broke the news that the couple was officially together in 2015, and their son Sam was born in May 2016. Russell and Reese haven't appeared together on screen since The Americans came to an end in 2018, but both turned up separately in Elizabeth Banks' Cocaine Bear. Russell played the film's heroine, while Reese was killed off while playing real-life drug smuggler Andrew C. Thornton, who died while parachuting from a plane laden with cocaine. Rumors began to surface in the press that Stranger Things co-stars Charlie Heaton and Natalia Dyer were a couple back in 2016, when watchful fans began noticing them together in social media posts and various paparazzi shots. However, it wasn't until 2019 that Heaton and Dyer began to speak publicly about their relationship. Their early comments were fairly coy. For example, while speaking about Heaton in an interview with Us Weekly, Dyer joked, "'He's all right, I guess. He doesn't mess up our scenes too much.' By mid-2019, however, she spoke openly about working with her significant other. As she explained to Refinery29, "...it's an interesting thing to work with somebody you go home with. It's always really fun." Though their romance was public knowledge, both actors remained largely reluctant to discuss the details. As Dyer explained to Cosmopolitan in 2022, the pair simply prefers to keep elements of their personal lives out of the public eye to a greater degree than certain other celebrity couples. Rami Malek made as public a declaration of affection as one could when he announced his appreciation for his Bohemian Rhapsody co-star, Lucy Boynton, in his acceptance speech for the Best Actor Award at the 2019 Oscars. The pair met in 2017 while starring as Queen frontman Freddie Mercury and his girlfriend, Mary Austin, in the popular biopic. Shortly thereafter, they were seen together at various public events, including the numerous award shows that honored Malik's performance as Mercury. He made their relationship public at the 2019 Palm Springs International Film Festival, where he earned top acting honors for Bohemian Rhapsody. Malik addressed Boynton in his acceptance speech, saying, "'You have been my ally, my confidant. You are my love.'" The couple remained together well into 2020, making appearances at high-profile events like the Oscars and Golden Globes and at the 2022 premiere of Malik's film No Time to Die. However, their relationship must have come to a halt, for by the end of that year, Malik has been spotted with several other actors, including his No Time to Die co-star, Leah Seydoux. Riverdale fans got giddy in 2018 when news broke that stars Camila Mendez and Charles Melton, who played residents Veronica and Reggie, respectively, appeared to be dating behind the scenes of the series. While the pair began to perform public displays of affection and attending events together, Mendez told LA Confidential in 2019 that she is cautious about discussing too many details of her relationship with Melton. As she explained, "...it's like, yeah, even though I feel comfortable talking about some things, do I really want to see it written over and over again? Sometimes it's not really worth it." The couple appeared to split shortly before their one-year anniversary in 2019. However, some photos of them together in 2020 did circulate through the media. Regardless of when it officially happened, the relationship was permanently over by 2021. In 2023, Mendez told the Going Mental podcast that she was in a new relationship, and by her brief description of her new suitor, it seems things are already quite serious with her new beau. As to who this new partner is, Mendez posted a photo of herself kissing actor and musician Rudy Mancuso on Valentine's Day in 2023.